this year's Musicians Hall of Fame inductees come from all across America, everywhere from California to Alabama. Adam Wurzel was lucky enough to attend the festivities. Alabama, it is great to see you. Great to have you here on Nashville Insider. It's great to be here, and it's uh, kind of humbling. I was telling Teddy how humble it makes you feel when you see all these people that created all these unique sounds and all these great records. And, and you know, we had to work sometimes a month on our just one song to get the music that we wanted to hear and the way we wanted our guitars to sound and the way we wanted to approach the song and the arrangement. So it's we're about riffs and signature sounds to open the song with. And, so it was great to see Everly get that award. Tell everybody where we're at right now. We're at the medallion ceremony for the Musicians Hall of Fame here at the beautiful Skirmerhorn Symphony Hall in Nashville. And uh, I've been a part of this ceremony through the years, helping induct other people. But tonight, I get to be in the spotlight thanks to, the, I guess, the the voters, the AFMM and the Musicians Hall of Fame panel. So I'm glad my name kept popping up. So here we are. I feel like this is kind of a long time coming for the safaris. Well, Wipeout was written 56 years ago when I was 15 years old. So it's been a long time coming, but we're just so excited that it's finally here. I think it's that song, I, I, there's not one person in this room that does not know that song. Who, who was the one that did that initial vocal in the beginning? Well, that was our original manager. His name was Dale Smallin. And it was by an accident that he did it because we had to figure out a name for the instrumental that we wrote. And somebody went out and got a board and broke it over the microphone. And then we said, well, that sounds like a Bustin' Surfboard. We said, well, there's already a song called Bustin' Surfboards, okay? He said, well, how do you bust a surfboard? Well, you wipe out. And so Dale Smallin comes out of the control room, gets up to the mic and goes, ha, 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 wipe out. In a voice that we never heard him do before in his life. And he just did it tagged it with the, the crack, the laugh, and the song. Two weeks later, we had a 45. Uh, six months later, it was number one around the world. So pretty good, pretty good move for th three 15-year-olds and a, a drummer who was 17. He was our old guy. He is a player. You, that, that's, that, that came out weird, you, but you are from the players. He is a player in the players who is now a musician Hall of Fame member. How does that feel? It's awesome because I see all my uh, uh, guys that I idolized around me, you know, my predecessors like uh, David Briggs, Owen Bradley goes in, Reggie Young posthumously, you know, it's like, I never thought I would go in at the same time as these guys, you know, it's, it's just it's very uh, daunting and surreal, you know, it's amazing. I think the last question here is, has this all sunk in yet for you? <laughs> not at all, not at all. My family's here from Indiana, a lot of my family, and I can't wait to hug their necks. I see them in the corner back there, but yeah, it's going to sink in really big time later. It hasn't yet, but uh, I'm I'm just over the moon, you know. So. Well, Steve, you get a hug from me too. Oh, Congratulations, thank you, man. buddy. That's very sweet. That, I'll take it. And I think Adam and Steve Warner may have a little bromance going on. Anyways, congratulations to all of the 2019 Musicians Hall of Fame inductees. And for more info on how to see the Musicians Hall of Fame, just head over to musicianshalloffame.com.